Hi, it's Paul from TradeTheFifth.com and this is my Stocks Swing Trading Analysis and Lure video for Tuesday the 12th of February. So let's go through the uh, spreadsheet first. I just wanted to remind you that uh, the trades or the orders that are in orange, these are the ones that came through the Twitter, the alert service, rather than just the video. The ones, uh, the trades in grey, on the open trades are the ones through the video and then you see here the white these are the new trades that triggered yesterday okay so they're they're from yesterday uh, uh, they're new they will go to grey tomorrow and then on the watch list here they're blue because they've been in the video uh, AMK, AMKR was new yesterday um, probably going to be cancelled today because it had earnings last night and it looks like it's gapping down below the stop but we'll just um, we'll keep an eye on that during pre-market uh, and then we've got two new ones today that we'll discuss Apple and AMD they were sent out yesterday on the Twitter and they're still good so we'll mention them in the video again so just to just to remind you of the the color coding there on the spreadsheet so let's go through First of all, I cancelled BP because it took out the stop for the order. So BP is now cancelled. Let's go through the uh, current open trades. We've got PE uh, almost back at break even. We have got um, earnings coming up reasonably soon, 20th of February. If this doesn't really start going, we're going to have to get out of this one. Uh, we'll just let it play out for this week. Uh, BVN. Again, we've got earnings uh, very soon on the 26th of Feb. Currently, it's still in profit. It's just struggling to push through. Uh, I mean, to be honest, the range in the in the index as yesterday was very, very narrow. We didn't really get any momentum going anywhere. So, you know, this this survived yesterday. At the moment, futures are above yesterday's high. And to be honest, that wasn't really brilliant. So uh, we may have another rangy day. Um, sooner or later we're going to have to do time stop strategy on some of these uh, because we've got quite a lot on now and we need to free up margin and capital for other trades so BVN still on for now FLR the short it's doing okay really we've got that indecision again yesterday uh, low volume we're about 60% profit times risk uh, just doesn't seem to want to go anywhere at the moment. Again, this could be another candidate if it doesn't really start moving by the end of the week to, to get out of. Uh, Netflix were back at break even, I believe. Yes, so that's a really dull day in the markets yesterday. We just had a little bit of a pullback back to break even on Netflix. FDN, exactly the same sort of thing, I think. Yes, we're back at break even. Um, so we, you know, we've got some good support levels in here, but we really do need the markets to uh, to get back on fire because at the moment they are very, very dull and nothing's moving. AMT, I know we're trading this off the four hour, uh, but we can see it on the daily there. Uh, we are out of that contraction now. We got low volume again yesterday with that indecision doji, but there was low volume across the markets, so can't read too much into that. The main thing is we got a higher high. The higher low yesterday for this swing on AMT. IAC had a great day yesterday with increased volume. There you go, one one that's working okay. Um, so we're about 80% profit times uh, risk, something like that on IAC. So good day yesterday. Good solid, almost solid green candle there. We got the higher high, the higher low, increased volume from the day before, which was increased volume as well. So that momentum seems to be building with this particular trade. Uh, box. Okay, we're trading this off the 60 minute. So let's go to the 60 minute there. Okay, remember we've already had one good trade on this on the daily time frame. We're trying to trade this fifth wave. It did peak up yesterday and test this wave three pivot. Uh, for those that were for, were watching this, taking profit at that point was not a bad thing. If you did that, well done. Um, for me, at this moment in time, the main thing is we, 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 we did pull back, but we didn't go any lower yesterday. We found some good support. 
we've got that increased volume in the last hour, witching hour. Can't read too much into that, but if we start to move away today with this bullish markets, we could test these highs again on box. Maybe call to to get out of that if it reaches those highs and looks like it's got exhaustion there. Uh, so keep an eye out on the Twitter feed in case I do take profits on box today. Okay, so Costco, remember, I wasn't personally taken into this. Uh, I know one of mine, a circle, was, but got out pretty much straight away. Uh, but we are we are officially in this short as far as the signal service is concerned because it just tipped uh, the entry price. Some people would have been taken in, some people not. But as far as reporting is concerned, we're in it. Uh, total indecision yesterday. We've got the slightly higher high, higher low. Uh, got increased volume yesterday, but very much an indecision day across the markets, really. Okay, Marriott triggered yesterday. Again, this was in the video from yesterday. So we got the trigger, but like most stocks yesterday, we got the tiptoe and we ran out of juice. We come back to test the cloud. Uh, and you know, to be honest, it retraced. Um, we got a slightly um new low there but we got the higher high higher low it sort of maintained the gap really uh, with those indecision dojis going towards the end of the session there so uh, you know if you're not in it 116.06 uh, going back through that entry i think it's still a good entry there we just need some bullish markets really and if we get that today that should resume its main bullish momentum Okay, so we had five trigger yesterday as well. Let's go on the daily time frame for that one. Okay, we'll be on the bubble there, but we had a good um, a good trigger yesterday for this breakout. We're finally out of this sort of 10 day range. We got increased volume, which is the main thing for me yesterday. We've got a good, reasonably solid candle there. We closed just above the entry price. Uh, the range was good on that candle. We got increased volume. Uh, hopefully now we've broke out of that range. Uh, we get the confirmation today, really. If we can get that higher high, higher low, it would be great to have uh, more volume as well, uh, just to get a confirmation of that bullish move. Uh, we had UMP trigger yesterday. Again, stop limit orders would have taken you that, taken you in, because uh, it came pretty close to the uh, to the entry there after it gapped. Um, again, it's quite an expensive stop, so you need quite a, a, a wide uh, stop limit order when you're looking at these stocks. But it's in anyway. Uh, decent profit. We've got the, the really, you know, the good, almost solid green candle again. Increased volume, 60% profit on the account balance. We have got some resistance up here, um, but let's see if it can push through. But uh, all in all, it was a reasonably good start. Uh, again, we've got to, got to push through these highs. But... Uh, we are looking for a longer term on here. Remember, this is on my hot stocks uh, for 2019. And on the weekly time frame, it is on a potential fifth wave move. So this is why we're in UMP for the breakout here. OK, so the current orders. So TJX is a bit like five, but it's not broken out of the range yet. Uh, so 5004 is still a good entry there. Now, potential shorts, we've got VG on at the moment, not broken the stop for the entry, so it's still a good order at 8.84. STZ, very similar. We had a negative day yesterday. Uh, tried to day trade that yesterday, just didn't move enough, to be honest. But uh, we uh, we got um, we got a good entry at 167.46 if that breaks down. Um, okay, so on the 60 minute now, We've got AMKR, didn't trigger yesterday, closed near the highs. However, earnings wasn't brilliant. So it looks like post-market we went down to $8. So this order will be cancelled. Uh, again, we were looking for a, an earnings play there. It didn't work out. We're not in the trade. If it comes down, I mean, to be honest, pre-market at the moment, you know, I'm doing this even before this video, before the European session opens. Um, so... Uh, what happens in the pre-market, I have no idea, so we'll just keep an eye on it. But if it does gap down below uh, below the stop, we'll just cancel the order. Okay, new from yesterday. These went out 
during the pre-market session. So uh, these went out with Twitter, didn't trigger, uh, but look, still look good to me. We've got Apple. So I had Apple 171.33 entry, didn't quite get there. He gapped up and then let go a little bit. Um, got a decent sort of support level forming here intraday. Um, if it pushes back up through there, we could get that fifth wave move on the 60 minute time frame. Everything looks good. 535, stochastic, pullback zones, everything looks really good. So Apple on the 60 minute, 171.33. Now, <coughs> remember, I really want to do these swings off the 60 minute on Mondays and Tuesdays. If we get to Wednesday and we've not triggered, we really need to make the decision where we want to get into that and carry it over the weekend. You know, in reality, if we can't get in Monday or Tuesday, um, we're not going to have enough days left in the week to swing it to the to the target. Um, so we have to make that decision where we're going to carry over this intraday swing, um, you know, on, on Friday. So let's see if this triggers today. Uh, if it doesn't, we may take the order off for Wednesday, depending on how, if we get some juice in the markets, really. Uh, AMD was very similar yesterday, didn't trigger. Uh, we sent the order out on Twitter. Uh, now we're covering it on the video. Again, we're looking for a fifth wave move on the six minute time frame. Uh, everything looks good to me. I mean, to be honest, yesterday, we can see now the, the oscillators crowned very well. And we are looking for that push up. It won't take much a positive movement in uh, NQ, I think, for, for, for everything just to get on board, really. As I speak at the moment, I, and again, it's before the European Open, uh, NQ is is, re, is positive. You know, we are get, approaching uh, yesterday's high, uh, and it's having a bit of a move now. Uh, so it, it could uh, we could get that entry today. So again, it's on the 60 minute. We need that entry today on AMD. 23.51, sensible entry there. 21.99 is the stop. Target, $26. Okay, so that's it for today. Have a great trading day. Speak to you all tomorrow.